Hello, welcome to Romero Threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery. In today's video, I want to compare the regular standard hoops that come with your machine with the very popular, very useful, efficient Mighty Hoops. Okay, one big thing about the Mighty Hoops, all right, you can see, made in the USA. All right, very, very strong. They're built like tanks. So in today's video, I want to compare all the hoops. So we have A, B, C, D, E, and then right here, right next to me, I have the F also. Okay, so I wanna kinda compare it. That way, if you're doing your research, okay, you know which hoops are compatible to which hoops. Let's go ahead, let's start with hoop number one. This is A, this is your alpha. These are really your hoops, pretty much all hoops are very similar, okay? Your colors might be different. For example, you might have like a different color. For example, this is the gray one. I haven't even opened these, okay? These came with my second machine and really I just, I'm so used to using Mighty Hoops. I don't even use these standard hoops anymore. Let's start with hoop number one. This is your A, your alpha. This is your most smallest one, okay? This is your 90 by 90 millimeters. Your A, I'm gonna compare it to Hoop number one, your 4.25 squared Mighty Hoop. So as you can see here, so it matches fairly close, all right? Of course, none of the hoops are gonna match 100% perfect, but it's gonna be in the same ballpark, all right? So this one here, very useful for smaller type logos. Now, the benefit of using a small hoop, you minimize the amount of stabilizers. That's why you wanna match whatever hoop closely matches to your logo. If you find yourself using the alpha hoop a lot, okay, this one here matches it closely. The second hoop, this is hoop B. So this one's set for 120 millimeters. The mighty hoop that closely matches this one. All right, so the Bravo, this one here is the special one. This is the 4.375 round hoop. This one here, very useful on polo shirts. Let's go with the next hoop. This is Hoop Charlie. This one here for sure is my most popular size here. Matches, of course, the world famous 5.5. All right, everybody that has a mighty hoop, most likely they start with this one here. Okay, so let's see here. All right, let me see, let's get a good angle. Bam, we got a perfect angle there. And then you could see how the brackets, they're all the same size. All right, uh, one thing about Mighty Hoops, they're interchangeable, okay? If you buy a Mighty Hoop and you have different types of machine, really what changes are these, your tabs, okay? But you can see they're the same size, okay? So they fit the same machine. All right, so this one here, Charlie, most popular Mighty Hoop, I know for us, is definitely the most popular one that we have. All right, always a fan favorite. I would always highly recommend this one as your first one. All right, now, as we're moving up, these three here, they really fit pretty straightforward, okay? But now from here on forward, okay, now we start having varieties, okay? Now our varieties start opening up. Now we have options. So the size of the hoops from here on out, it really depends on what type of design you're stitching. So this is kind of like the area where you start making decisions, all right? Uh, all depending on what you normally stitch out, all right? So here on Delta, okay, one that's very close, that fits, that fits very similar is this one here. This is the eight by nine. It's a little bigger than the green hoop here, all right? So it gives you a little bit more room, but you could see it kind of like fits in, in the area right here, okay? Like in the same ballpark, all right? A little bigger, so it gives you a little bit more space to work with. Now, since we we're opening up our options, okay, this one here, especially if you have the smaller type uh, embroidery machines, if you have the 10 needle, such as the EM1010, okay, this is, this is the, the, the largest hoop that fits on the EM1010 right here. Here, you can see the comparison, all right? And then back here. Okay, of course, uh, there are other hoops that are very similar, so, you wanna find a hoop that closely matches your design. Now, let's go with hoop E, Echo. This one, the 10 by 10, this hoop, the green hoop, it's a 11.41 11 11 by 11.41. 11 
So that closely matches our 10 by 10 mighty hoop. Okay, as you can see, very similar here. All right, so it matches very closely. Okay, so this is your echo. All right, let me see if I get you a good view here. Check out the bottom. All right, we've done the Alpha, the Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo. All right, now let's go to the big, big ones, the big guns, the F. Okay, now Mighty Hoop wise, you have options. Okay, you can either go with, okay, this one here is one of my favorites, the 10 by 19. Okay, so very popular on big jacket backs. This one here is my go to one. Okay. Especially when the name, right? Names on the back. I also have hoop number two. And this one here is going to match the height. This one here is a 13 by 16. All right, so height wise matches. All right, pretty good here. All right, so here you have two options. You can either match it on the width, okay, which you still got space on the height, or you can match it on the height. All right, so that's your letter F. All right, and then the best thing about these hoops, right, is that they snap, right? You don't have to really worry, especially, I would say one thing about jacket backs, okay? You don't have to worry about tightening your screws here, okay? You're doing everything just instantly. That was the comparison from hoops A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, if there's anything that I'm missing out or any information that you want to add, go ahead, leave it down below in the comments. And if you have any questions, also leave all your questions down below. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.